and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today is November 11th, which means it's Monday, and we got the Monday morning early 10:30 content. So, is it that exciting? I mean, as exciting as flashbacks never be, right? I mean, it's not. That's not. That's not sugarcoated here, but. 10.30 content typically is exciting anyways, just for the fact that we get to wake up to something every morning, check something out. For all you guys at school and work, you'll obviously be seeing this later. Hopefully, you still come out and check the video out. I'll be going over all the stats. Even if you guys know the stats already, I give you guys the in-depth analysis on the stats. I get to, I trash them thoroughly, so make sure you're always here at 10.30 to watch that. Now, am I excited so far? i only seen one of them so far, and quite honestly, they didn't botch the stats. Like, typically, they botch stats. This one isn't horrible. I've seen way worse. Trust me, being around Madden for seven years... 10 maybe even longer i've seen plenty of bad cards and this is not the worst one i've seen from flashbacks but guys before you get into the video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell come join the family boys i appreciate all of you guys who come out and grind every 10 30 in the morning come out grind your madden and watch my vids behind now if you guys make it to 10 30 today make sure you always comment 10 30 gang noti gang make sure you let me know who you guys are i trust me i see your comments and i remember each and every one of your names if you guys just say all that stuff because it means a lot and also Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of these cards and give this video a big thumbs up guys i mean i know flashback videos are your probably least favorite videos but show some support can you guys get 100 likes in a flashback video i don't think you can do it you guys have not done it once this year but let's see if you can get 100 likes in today's flashback video now guys as far as the flashbacks go today uh, the first one like i said isn't a bot she actually has pretty good stats considering the cards and it being a flashback i think they're finally maybe trending in the right direction of good flashback cards now will i recommend them on most teams for the right price, he could be a budgety beast player. For the right price. Now, the second guy, not so sure. I gotta wait till he comes out. Obviously, you guys see in the title at this point already. It's, fun, it's funny, right? Because you guys watching are in the future, so you guys know who it is. I actually don't know who the second guy is, so it's pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys ever thought about that. But, 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 it is flashbacks, yeah. So, let's get into this now. Real quick. The flashbacks today should be 90 overall cards, obviously. And, in my opinion, I think it's time the flashbacks start getting to 91s. Like, 90s are too low, in my opinion. I think 90s are too low. Let's get our into 91s. Let's start making them usable cards. Most cards that we're buying right now are 90s, 91s. But the, even the 90 cards are being faded out. Like, on my team, I only search in 92s, 93s at this point. I really don't search 90s, 91 anymore. At least make them 91, right? Get them on the spectrum, at least. So if you power them up and chem them up, they could hit a, a card you can use. 90 powered up is only 91. Let's get them 91 so we can get to that upper echelon of cards. Now, let's head over to Twitter right now to go check out the other card stats. And actually... Let's check out his price, right? So, the 90 overalls are going for... I'm going to see what the 90 overalls are going for. So, Because I want to value his stats based on price. See, if I go there and I see his stats, if he's like 100k, I can be like, wow, this is a good card. But if he's 200k, not a good card. So, I have to really value by price. Let's see flashbacks. See what the 90s are going for. Let's see. So, they're going for about 1, 103 to like 120, somewhere between there. So, as long as he falls in the usual range of flashbacks... I could easily say this cards are great. So let's go out to Twitter and go check these cards out. All right, guys, so we're over on Twitter. We got Lamar Miller through flashback to the Dolphins. If you guys don't remember, Lamar Miller in his first few years with the Dolphins was pretty great, pretty crazy. His only issue was that he got a limited workload. He was never given like a full workhorse workload, which proved to maybe have been even a good idea because as you guys can see, when he came to the Texans, he was given a full workload. He got injured. He got a little banged up in the first season that he was there. He couldn't get, he wasn't efficient. So, I mean, maybe that just goes to show that maybe Lamar Miller and the coach was right when they decided that he shouldn't be the workhorse for the Dolphins. But when he was on the Dolphins and he got his like 15 to 16 carries a game where he got like a, he got like his little gadget workload at times, he went pretty crazy for a while. 100 yard game, 150 yard game. Now, obviously in the new stage of the NFL that we're in, 100 yard games, like if you don't get that as a running back, you get a bad game, which is really, it's crazy at this point. Uh, games nowadays stats are so inflated that people don't even realize that like, if you like say like arian foster on the texans years ago was a beast yeah arian foster had like he averaged 80 yards a game he was a monster now it's like if you don't average at least 100 yards a game you're a bum like mccaffrey's averaging like 136 right now per game just unreal stuff guys but let's get into the stats five foot ten lamar jack i mean lamar jackson lamar miller he can get evasive that's the evasive archetype he's 89 speed 88 excel 89 agility that's what i was saying 89 carrying you power this card up right he ends up with 90 speed, 89 excel, 90 agility, 90 carry. This card's a monster. Like, that, that's, that's great. For a 90 overall 100k card, you know what I'm saying? Not a monster like every team should have him, but you can actually use this card. For the first time in weeks, these cards are usable, and I really do appreciate that EA went that, at least for the first time, gave us. Like, they pick these stats. Like, they give us stats. Like, it's not that hard to do. 83 elusiveness, 72 truck, mean 85 brick tackle. This card is highly usable, 41 salary cap. Would I recommend mostly picking him up? 
No, obviously not, because there's obviously better options. But can I suggest that a guy with a bottom budget or a Houston Texans team team or a Miami Dolphins team team, or like I said, a guy on a budget trying to build a specific team with speed, Lamar Jackson's a great option. I really don't mind you guys going his way. Obviously, you have, you could get Marcus Allen within the same price range, which Marcus Allen has a very similar skill set, just with slightly better trucking. But it's not too far off from Marcus Allen. And he's going to actually be faster than Marcus Allen by two. So it comes down to whether or not you want to go that route. Now, I'm checking the auction box quick to see if we can find this next card. Because obviously, I want to show you guys another one. But this is EA, guys. You cannot account for flashbacks to be out at 1030. That is just, that's rude. That's rude of anyone to assume that their stuff will be on time. They work on their own schedule. Now, I'm going to probably skip forward to the mud. I'm probably going to find a mud head. Or I'm going to go search for it on the auction block. But guys... Hope you enjoyed the first half of this. You guys obviously know who it is already. I don't. Let's go figure that out. All right, guys. So it actually came out a second later. Like, this is actually 10 seconds after I just stopped that video. Uh, I'm assuming this has to be Sean Lee. I see him up on the block. Just got posted. Knowing me, knowing it, it's probably Zerk. He's you know how many times I've showed his card in videos because he opens, he goes on pack openings and pulls them. And then he'll call me and let me know. But that means he's probably ahead of me on this video if he already has a Sean Lee. But Sean Lee is six foot two, 80 speed, 85 excel, 74 strength, 87 tackle, 95 play rec, which is really crazy. 81 block shed, 56 power move, 50 finesse move. Now, I always have loved Sean, Sean Lee cards. Sean Lee cards have always been my favorite in Madden for years. But as we've gotten more progressive in Madden, his speed has also progressively lowered. Like, as we've gotten further into the years of Madden, back in, like, Madden 15 around there, Sean Lee was always a zone coverage beastly linebacker. Kind of like a Luke Keekley. Now he's gotten too slow and too grandpa and too injury prone for the Madden, I guess, to give him the right stats. But I always did enjoy myself a good Sean, Sean Lee card, quite honestly. Now, outside linebacker, I believe he used to be a middle linebacker for the Cowboys at one point, right? That's what he played in, the, at least in Madden he did. He has a, a stopper looking archetype, which I mean, that maybe he's like a run stopper. 2013 week four. This was a while ago. This was like, this was like seven years ago. Yeah, just about seven years ago, six, seven. Let's see what his behind the card stats are, because obviously that's, that's highly important to see what the behind the card stats are. 74 strength, not too great. And actually, real quick, let me, let me give you the analysis on the front card before I get to the back card. 80 speed, not that great. He's an outside linebacker, though, so it's not, it's not disgusting, but not great. 85 excel, that's good. I'll take the 85 excel. 74 strength, not great. 87 tackle, great. 95 play rec, phenomenal. 81 block shed, decent. Now, the only way this card is saved, right? The only way is if he has a good zone. If he has a good zone coverage, I will take everything I've said back about this card. Because if he has a good zone, putting him in zone would actually be a pretty good move. He might even actually make it onto my team if he has a good zone. He's from Penn State. Let's go down slowly. 95 awareness, that's great. Let's see. 73 jumping, kind of horrible. Impact blocking, 86, that's good. 88 pursuit, which is really good. And let's see, let's see. Does he have a good zone? There's a moment of truth. Hit power 85. We passed zone, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we passed zone. All right, it must not have been that great if I passed it. Uh, right here. 75 zone. Ah. No joke, guys. No joke. I was contemplating putting Sean Lee outside linebacker. Because I need I need a zone guy. But maybe I'll be better off picking up one of those guys like uh, the Keep Bullock or something. I didn't want to spend all those coins, though. Obviously, the Sean Lee's going to be a lot cheaper. Let's see if they have the other ones up on the block yet. You have Lamar Miller's 200k. These aren't going to stay here. These are just obviously the first two pulls. So they're going to come down in price quite a bit when the time comes. So don't anticipate that they're going to be this expensive. Would I recommend either one? Yes, Lamar Miller is a recommend. Would I recommend you go out for this price? No. If he gets to 100k, by all means, go ahead and enjoy yourself a Lamar Miller. I can't justify this price because at this price, you could do a lot more. Now, Sean Lee, for him to be useful, it has to be at 100k. And even then, it's, it's borderline. His zone isn't good enough. So he's going to be like, he's going to be like a wannabe. I go, I don't even know. Like a wannabe Sean Taylor that can't pass rush. Like, I don't know. Like he's going to be decent in the run game, but like he's not the best pass rusher. I don't even know what to call him. He's supposed to be a coverage back, a coverage outside linebacker. Did I say Sean Taylor? I meant Lawrence Taylor if I said that. But he's supposed to be more of a coverage linebacker. They did not give him the coverage stats. So that makes him like a baby half-ass pass rusher. I don't really recommend him. Like I said, he'd have to be below 100K. Lamar Miller, great. Now let, let, let's look at these 90s real quick. What, what here has, has anything wowed me yet? ass ass um no 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 so everything pretty much here is no except lamar miller is the first 90 overall where i could be like okay i could see someone powering up and using this lamar miller and doing some work that's about it he's the only one guys that is about it for the video 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that are here right now watching this flashback video, as boring as flashbacks may be. Hopefully, you come here for the content and to watch. If you guys did, comment down below. Flashback gang, Monday gang, Nodi gang, and also give this video a big thumbs up. I don't know if you guys can do it, but can we get our first flashback video to 100 likes? Let's find out, guys. Make sure to smash that button. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.